Hey guys, this is part three of shortcuts that are very handy to help speed up your editing. Uh, welcome to Chin Fat, by the way, and uh, let's get started. This is the last seven. I've had two previous episodes that went through uh, seven sh uh, groups of shortcuts on each episode, and this is the concluding seven shortcut episode for a total of 21 handy shortcuts to speed up your editing. Let's start with the home and end key. Your home and end key is very, very underutilized, in my opinion, by editors, uh, but what it does is if you are sitting here on your timeline, if you hit home, uh, and these are just located right above your arrow, arrow keys, home will take you to the beginning of your timeline. This is like the same as a word processor as well. When you hit home and end, it takes you to the beginning of the document and it'll take you to the end of the document. So now I'm going to hit end and it jumps to the end of my timeline. I'm going to hit slash just so it shows my entire timeline here. And now uh, we can hit end, home, and you can see my playhead is jumping to the end of the timeline and to the beginning of the timeline. So if you need to get to the beginning quickly and press play to watch your movie, hit home and then your spacebar or L. The next one is control or command S. Just a reminder that control, control is more commonly used on the PC, whereas command is more commonly used on the Mac. Oftentimes when I say control, then something else. Uh, if you're on a Mac, it's command and then that shortcut. There is one exception that we're going to be going through here in this episode, though. So control S or command S. I'm on a Mac right now, so I'm going to hit Command S and watch what happens. It does that quick little flash of saving your project there, but that saves your progress. If you're editing for like an hour and you never hit Control or Command S, uh, your project has not been saving. It has not been saving all those things that you've been changing. It, it, it will likely be auto-saving as long as you have your auto-save turned on, uh, which will put it in a different folder. But this project file right here, this very project file in this location, will not be updated until I hit Command S or until I go to Close Premiere and it will ask you, hey, you haven't saved your project, you want to save it? And you say yes. So I, I do this as a habit, like every two or three minutes while I'm editing, sometimes every minute I will do it. As I'm going through and I'm doing some editing here, uh, let's do a cut right there, and I've done some editing, I hit Command S and it saves the changes and now that project file is updated and saved. Once in a while you'll see a little thing pop up here automatically without doing that. That is likely auto-saving for you, but it puts it in a different folder and kind of a discrete location. You have to know where that's at. I mean, if you go under uh, File and go under Project Settings and go to Scratch Disks, it will show you where your auto-saves are being saved. And this is just being saved in my regular document folder on this computer rather than my hard drive that I'm working on. So I'd have to go dig it up. If I, if I, if it crashes and I lose some progress, I'd have to go get this. So just get used to hitting Command S or Control S if you're on a PC to save the changes and it will update the changes to this project file right there. All right, the next one is an option select. So this is a combo one with your mouse. Uh, most of these are just like keyboard shortcuts, but this one is going to be a keyboard plus a mouse shortcut. If we select a file here that has its has an audio file connected like this, you select this video, notice it selects, it selects the audio. If I select this one, it selects the video. So those things are linked there. So if you want to just, if you were just trying to get rid of the video or the audio uh, or, or move it around, you can do this. You can hold down the option or alt key. It's usually between on the window, on Windows machines, between the control and the, and the start key. On the Mac is between the control and the command key. So watch this, if I hold down Alt or Option and, and click on the video, it selects just the video. And now if I hit Delete, it deletes just the video. Same as the audio here. If I, if I select down, hold down Option and select, hold down Option or Alt and select this, it selects just the audio track and then I can hit Delete if I'm getting rid of it. Or it also helps with duplicating. If I hold down Option and select this video clip and still holding down Option and I drag it up it duplicates, it makes a copy of the clip. So same down here, option, select and drag. It makes a new clip that is a duplicate of this clip right there. So that's a quick way of duplicating something. If you hold down option and select a clip and drag it over, it duplicates it. Now I have a duplicate clip right there. The next group of shortcuts here is shift and then one, two, three, four on top of your keyboard. Now what this will do, you'll notice the blue line around your sequence window right here. And that means I am operating primarily within this window. And that's then that most shortcuts will pertain to this window now. Now if I hit Shift 1, what it does is it jumps to the project window. So now I'm in the project window. Shift 2 jumps to my source window. Shift 3 jumps to my timeline. And Shift 4 jumps to my uh, program window. So yeah, like I mentioned, if you have if you have specific shortcuts, those shortcuts will be relevant. Like if I'm copying and pasting, if I hit Shift 1 and I move into my project window here, if I want to copy like a timeline or something like that, if I do Command C and Command V to paste, it just duplicated that timeline there. Uh, but now if I hit Shift 3 and I'm in my timeline here and I have these selected, Command C, 
and go to the end and command V to paste, it will paste that range of clips right there because I am operating within my timeline. So just a quick way of getting around, shift one, two, three, four. So I'm holding down shift the entire time and, and moving through the numbers. Now a cool little feature here in most Adobe products is using the tilde key. It's the key above the tab key to the left of your number one at the top left hand side of your keyboard. And what the tilde key does is, if, and this is a combination one with the mouse as well, because you have to have, if you move your mouse over a specific window, like right here under my project window, and you hit the tilde key, watch what happens. It brings that window full screen. So if you're going through your footage and you have this little teeny window down here and you want to make it bigger to organize, hit the tilde key over it, and now you can open up these things and you can see all your footage. You can see, you can do this inside of bins as well to look at all, all your media within that window there. And it gives you a much larger viewing space. Now, if you want to bring your window back down, you do the same thing. You hit your tilde the key once again and it goes back down to normal. So, so if I move my mouse over, it doesn't have to be selected, but if I if I move my mouse over this window, hit tilde, it goes full screen. If I go over this window, tilde, and now I can uh, look at my timeline and look at it a little bit closer. Same thing, pro uh, program window here. If we move over the program window and hit tilde, it opens it up in a much larger window. And that is the tilde key. Now this is a cool little feature that a lot of people don't know that Premiere is capable of. And it is still using the tilde key. And this is the one where it is the exact same on the Mac as it is the PC. Rather than use the command function on the Mac this time, I'm going to hit control tilde. And for some reason, this is identical on both PC and Mac. So now watch what happens when I hit control and tilde. Like I was doing before, like I brought, brought the, the windows full screen, this brings your video generated image full screen, whatever one you're in. If you're in this window here, it's going to bring that one full screen. If I move over to this one here and hit control uh, tilde, it brings that full screen. And now I can press play and it plays through the video. I can hit J to rewind. I can hit K to stop. I can hit L to forward. I can hit arrows up and down and it jumps between edits like I showed in previous shortcuts. I can hit my arrow right and it moves one frame at a time. Arrow left moves back for one frame at a time. Shift arrow right five frames at a time. Shift arrow back five frames at a time. Those are previous uh, shortcuts that I've gone through in previous episodes. And then to get out of that, control tilde once again. Now keep in mind, sometimes if you accidentally hit something when it's in full screen like this, if I do like Command M, which is an export window, and now I hit, uh, now it brought up, up, it brings up open my ex export window underneath this, and I can't see it right now. So if I hit if I hit Control tilde, it doesn't look like it's doing anything. So what I got to do is get rid of that menu below, get rid of that uh, window that I opened up by hitting Escape. And now control tilde, and then it brings it back. So if you ever get stuck in that mode, so you don't have to force shut your, your software down. See, watch this. When I hit command or control M, it brings up this export window. And, it's, and now it was locked into this mode, but it was underneath my full video signal. Underneath, it was underneath that signal hiding there, but it was open. And, it will, and then when I hit control tilde, it wouldn't go out of full screen. So I had to hit escape, which got rid of that window. So yeah, watch this. Control tilde, command M unintentionally. I'm like, oops. Command Control Tilde. Why won't this go? Why won't that go away? Well, I have to hit Escape, get out of that menu which is invisible right now, and then hit Control Tilde. Just a little tip that saved that uh, caused me some frustration some time ago, and I was able to work that out and figure out what what fixed it. All right, last thing here in this episode is we're going to go through is uh, your trim window, which gives you access to roll editing and ri uh, ripple editing uh, in a nice fancy window here. Watch this. I'm going to jump down. I'm going to hit Shift-3 to go to my timeline and go between these two edits right here. And I want to change these edits. Shift-T brings open what's called the trim window. Trim window has access to roll edit, which will trim both in and out points at the same time, and your ripple edit, which will trim to the left, which will ripple trim to the left and ripple trim to the right. So quickly, if I grab this here, and this shows your out point of the clip on the left, shows your in point of the clip on the right. And as we change this, look, it's changing both of these simultaneously. And if I move it right here, to the yellow arrow to the right, that's a ripple edit, and I grab it and drag it to the left, look how it's just editing the one to the left, then when I let go, it compensates by pulling everything closer to it, or if I go the opposite direction, if I expand this clip's out point, and let go, notice how it shoves everything else out. Or I can do it to this clip as well. Shorten it, shorten the clip's in point, or lengthen it, and then it shows everything else out. So now while you're in your trim window, if you just press play, it'll play through the edit and show you the edit that you just performed, and then when it's done, It'll keep looping and it will keep showing you the same clip over and over again until you press your space bar to pause. And then it jumps back to the trim window with the playhead in between the edit. If you want to get rid of your trim window, you can either click and drag your playhead down here like this. But if you want to use a true shortcut, you do Command Shift A 
to deselect items and it gets rid of the trim window because it has nothing selected so it will not display the trim window. So Command Shift A or Control Shift A deselects everything and gets rid of that. Okay, well that concludes uh, my three episodes on uh, helpful shortcuts that will speed up your editing. If you have any comments or questions, please post them and thanks for watching.